everyone what's up welcome back to my channel today's video is vlogmas day five i believe yeah i'm uploading day four right now today's day four like it took forever to export off of my computer so it's going up like an hour and a half probably once it finally uploads an hour and a half later than i would like it to so i'm a little set back this morning i've been snoozing my noon alarm that tells me to upload my video i've just been snoozing it because it hasn't uploaded yet, but I should just stop it now because I am uploading it currently. Anybody else get like heat flashes after they blow dry their hair? Because I am hot right now. So I took a shower, I just dicened my hair. I didn't really do it perfectly. I just want it to be at least not air dried. Like at least it's straightened and you know. I think today what I want to do, of course we have to clean my makeup brushes. I, I'm not even kidding. We're going to do that in a little bit. I want to edit a little bit on my computer as well, but I do want to clean my makeup brushes and I think we're going to organize my bathroom and try and tackle that cabinet that I showed you guys the other day that was so, so bad. I think it's time to go through all of that and organize it. So this might not be the most exciting clips, but we're going to be deep cleaning and organizing my bathroom. I have so much like skincare and makeup and things that I just need to either throw out or make it look better in there because it's very stressful whenever I need to do skincare, face masks, or hair care, or makeup, like any of that stuff, it's very stressful because everything in the cabinet is just like falling out. So we're gonna get to that in a little bit. Maybe my second cup of coffee. How cute is this little mug? This is from Target. Guys, Target has the best like Christmas stuff that's really affordable. I got this last year, but they have really cute ones this year as well. And these are like $5, which I think is really good. Like if you go to Anthropology, they're charging like upwards of like $30 for a mug these days. So I think it's really good that Target still has like some cute holiday decor that is only like five bucks. I feel like I need like 18 cups of coffee today. I have my advent calendar behind me. I don't think I'm gonna put on makeup today. I think I'm gonna give my skin a break because it needs it like i have one pimple along like my jawline that's so big right now for the sake of my skin we're gonna wash my makeup brushes and give it a break today but i think we can go through the advent calendar again today and see what perfume we get i can wear perfume even though i don't think i'm leaving the house it'll still be fun to wear it right let me see if i can change the light bulb on this light right here to something a little bit brighter that looks worse Oh, that looks good. Okay, that's like a nice bright white. As if I complete Vlogmas and like I do as much as I possibly can, I think I'm gonna treat myself at the end of Vlogmas to a haircut and maybe I'll get crazy and do some color as well because every time I blow dry my hair, my roots just become more and more obvious. And it's so funny because I have like my natural, this is a crazy angle, I have like my natural hair color right here, which is like a very like, no. almost looks like I have dry shampoo like in the top of my head that I didn't um, mess with enough like it looks like there is dry shampoo stuck up there because of like my natural hair color it's just kind of like I look like I'm pulling my hair so I'm not it's just kind of like my natural hair color is like a mousy brown and then I have like the red right here kind of like right through there because I dyed my hair strawberry blonde like six months ago and then the ends used to be strawberry blondes but they went back to the blondes that i had gotten probably like a year ago at this point there's a lot of colors and a lot going on with my hair be like a fun little treat for myself i'm already planning out all these things that i'm going to treat myself with after vlogmas like i need to chill out <laughs> like oh i'm gonna get a perfume i'm gonna get my hair done what's next we're only on day five like i need to chill but we're not on day five of the calendar we're only on day number three Doo -doo -doo. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see. I smell something. It smells good. <gasps> Ooh. I don't own this one. I think it's Giorgio Armani is what I just read. Okay, goodbye advent calendar. Giorgio Armani My Way Intense. I don't think I've ever smelt this. So we're going to try it out today. I like the pink packaging. I should, sorry, I should have shown you guys. Giorgio Armani My Way. Ooh, okay, this says, let's see. These perfumes get so fancy with how they describe it. Orange Blossom from Egypt, Tuberose from India, Sandalwood from New Caledonia, 
vanilla from Madagascar. So orange blossom, tuberose, sandalwood, and vanilla. Sorry, I ran out of storage, but I'm back. So if I got cut off, it's orange blossom, tuberose, sandalwood, and vanilla. So I was just about to spray it on, but I didn't yet. So let's see. Hmm. Okay, I don't mind it. I like the one from yesterday more, the Saint Laurent one. Kind of more floral than I typically like. It's growing on me, but it's not my favorite, I don't think. But it's not bad either. I want one in here to be like really bad. I'm pretty easy going, so I don't know if that'll happen, but it would be fun if one of the ones that I get, I'm like, oh, I really don't like that. But so far we haven't gotten anything bad. So out of the three, I already own one of them. So day two is number one so far. And we're gonna put day three at number two. I still have nine more to go through. I see how the others what the fate is of these other scents. I think I'm gonna sit here for a little while longer and just, oh, there goes my alarm again. Okay, I can stop it now. I'm gonna sit here and just do all the extra little things for my video to upload, tags and the description box and the ads and all that kind of stuff. I made instant coffee and it's actually really good today. I used the Chobani hazelnut creamer and it tastes really good with the instant coffee. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes better in the instant coffee than it does in iced coffee. I don't know why, but it does. Popping in to let you guys know that I just made lunch. It's a Cobb salad. So there's rotisserie chicken, avocado, cherry tomatoes, a hard boiled egg, red onion, uh, turkey bacon, feta, and lettuce. And then a homemade dressing. It has like balsamic vinaigrette, olive oil, Dijon mustard. There's a lot going on in this salad and that's safe to say. So, but if you guys wanna see me make this, I just filmed it for a what I eat in a day for my fitness channel. So you can go check out my fitness channel if you wanna see more meal inspo. But wow, this salad looks and smells incredible. I'm so hungry, but after we do this, we're gonna actually wash the makeup brushes, I swear. I'm gonna actually get it done today. Yeah.
let this go down in history i cleaned my makeup brushes i have like what like literally three makeup brushes i have no excuse to not be doing this on a consistent basis like most people have so many i have this many and i still couldn't do it um also if you're wondering what i use to wash them i've just always used baby soap sorry baby shampoo is what i use this is the this is the johnson's baby shampoo and it works good and it's just like a gentle thing to clean your makeup brushes with but one thing i really need to invest in is one of those like silicone brush cleaning mats so that way i can not have my water running the whole time because i hate the fact that i have to do that but it's the only way i can wash out all of the makeup since i don't have something to like brush them on you know what i mean so yeah they're done it's a good day to not wear makeup because they're definitely going to need to dry all night but i feel so much better now that i got that off my to-do list. I feel brand new again. Long time no talk, it's 6.30 now, and I'm actually in the Trader Joe's parking lot. My mom needed peaches, and she always gets them from Trader Joe's, the like peaches that I love in a can, or they're in a jar too. I have to get her four of those, and I was like, I can go to Trader Joe's and get them for you because I wanna go in and get some stuff myself. Of course I wait to go in because I wanna vlog, and now it starts raining harder again. It's been on and off raining like all night. I have zero tints on my car. So when I'm vlogging and there's people next to me, I'm just like, oh my god, they can see everything I can't wait to get a new car one day in the future and put tints on it because this is too much It is so busy inside Trader Joe's So I don't know if I'm gonna vlog much when I'm in there, but I want to get like some holiday treats and things Oh my god, someone's about to hit my car Holy crap, that man was so close to just hitting my car. But yeah, I'm better going to Trader Joe's and just get like some holiday stuff. It's so busy, I can't vlog right now in the parking lot. I'm home from Trader Joe's. I also thought I would mention before I take this off, this is my jacket from, or like shacket. It's from Revolve. I've been wearing a lot of the Revolve stuff that they sent me back in November. Did they send it in October? I don't remember. One of those months they sent me some stuff and I've been wearing a lot of it since then. I'll try and link this down below. I always have like my Revolve profile linked in my description box and it should have this on it. But if I forget, just let me know in the comments and I will add it to the description box. But I thought I would go through and give you guys a Trader Joe's haul. It's already eight o'clock at night. Like what the heck is going on? I don't know how the days go by so fast. I mean, I do, but like I don't at the same time. But yeah, let's go through this Trader Joe's haul. I already went to my mom's. I stopped there on the way home and dropped off her peaches to her. So I just have my stuff in here now and we will go through it all. I got some like new things that I've never seen before. These the box feels like there's literally nothing in here i don't know it says triangles i'm not gonna herb herb de provence triangles puff pastry crackers seasoned with rosemary savory onion and garlic and this is what they look like i think i'm gonna make a cheese board tonight for dinner because i want to have a grilled dinner cheese board so Oh, I forgot to stop at the grocery store. I was gonna make like a whipped feta, but maybe we can do that a different day. I really don't even feel like doing that tonight. I'm just gonna have a cheese board and vibes. So I got stuff for the cheese board, obviously. These are the other crackers I'm gonna use tonight. This box feels heavy. It feels like there's so many crackers in here. This is the scalloped cracker trio. I thought this sounded really good. Rosemary, red chili, and garlic crackers. I'm so excited to make my cheese board tonight. You guys have no idea. Okay, something non-cheese board related that we're gonna have to try out at some point. I think they said that it's good in like coffee. Yeah, try me in coffee, lattes, or cappuccinos. So these are cinnamon swizzle sticks. And I guess it's like a cinnamon stick with some sugar at the bottom down here. And you're supposed to swirl it into coffee. And I thought that that just sounded really good. So maybe tomorrow morning we can try one of these. I don't know, I'm such a gimmicky person. I always fall for like these little holiday treats, but this one just sounded really good to me. For the cheese board, I got these mini little pickles. What are they called? Cornichons? Cornichons or something? I don't know. There's mini pickles and they're actually really good. So I got some of these for that. I also got some pepperoni. I don't like prosciutto or salami that much. So I always go for pepperoni when I need like a meat on the cheese board. I'm excited about this. I've heard a lot about this brand of protein bars, Misfits, and I've always wanted to try them. They kind of remind me a lot of the Bear Bells from like the photos and stuff. So I wanted to see if they taste like Bear Bells and I didn't know that Trader Joe's sells them. I think it's new. I got the chocolate cookie butter flavor, which sounds really good. I think I'm gonna have one of these tonight. I got two of the sparkling honey 
Crisp apple juice beverage. I love honey crisp apples, so I was like, okay, I have to get two of these. I don't know, I just love having fun drinks like this on hand for when I'm craving something other than water, which I need to drink more water anyways today. I got one of these La Cologne little cans of coffee. I forget if I liked this flavor or not. It's the peppermint mocha. I think I liked this. I had it like a few years ago and I think I was into it. So we'll try it again one morning and see if I still like it. I don't know, a lot of people say that like they don't like these La Colombe draft lattes in a can because they taste like oily or something. So I'm gonna have to see, I haven't had one in a while and I wanna see if I still like it. As for cheeses, I got this goat cheese. This is an herb goat cheese. We'll use this tonight, so you'll see more of it later, but I don't know. I discovered kind of recently that I like goat cheese. I think I had it at Kenzie's place when I was in Texas. And I was like, wait, I kind of like this. More cheeses. I got the Asiago cheese with rosemary and olive oil. I tried to get like the smallest cheeses that they had so that way they don't go to waste because I'm just one gal. It's a lot of cheese for one person. <laughs> and then I'm really excited about this one. This is the creamy Toscano cheese soaked in Chardonnay wine. So my friend Lexi brought over, this was a long time ago. I don't even know when she brought it over, like when I first moved in here, um, this cheese, but it was the one soaked in like a red wine, like a Cabernet or something. And it was really good. So I wanted to try the white wine one, of course. I heard Lindsay Hughes talking about this in one of her recent vlogs i think she said like her trader joe's favorites and this was one of them the everyday seasoning and she was like i swear by this like i put it on literally everything so i'm excited to try this it has sea salt mustard seeds black pepper coriander onion garlic paprika and red chili pepper flakes so i'm excited to try this probably tomorrow on like my eggs or something and the very last thing in this haul is my personal favorite thing from trader joe's it's kind of new but like so good please go get this the guaca salsa it's a guac and a salsa mixed together when i buy this i need to go get some chips because i forgot to get them i'll get some tomorrow but when i buy this it's gone in a day and that is like so unlike me like i I rarely go through dips and guacs and things like that, but this salsa, I go through it so quick. I could eat this whole thing instantly. It's that good. It's like a salsa verde mixed with guac. You need this, trust me. Okay, that is everything for my Trader Joe's haul. I'm gonna put some stuff away and get a little bit cozy and then we can make the cheese board, which I'm very excited for. just made this cheese board and it smells incredible. Hopefully that kitty cat, no, please be quiet. 
It's showtime, baby. I almost forgot that I have the mini pickles and I'm so happy. I call them mini pickles. I forget what they're called, something with a C. But I almost forgot that I bought them because they were in the fridge. So thank God I remembered towards the end. I'm drinking that apple crisp, honey, honey crisp apple sparkling juice or whatever. Guys, this is the best thing ever. I am going back to Trader Joe's and getting more of them. I tried to get an angle where you guys could see the cheese board kind of because I think I did a pretty good job with it. Like the pepperonis and all the crackers and everything. There's like a lot of servings here for just me, but I didn't have a regular dinner tonight because I was kind of busy and like, I don't know. I was sidetracked with some stuff on my phone before I knew it, it was 10 p.m. So I'm first gonna try one of these little puff things that came in that little box. These are new. They smell really good. I've been turning into a big rosemary stan. I used to not like rosemary at all because I had rosemary french fries one time and they ruined rosemary for me, but lately I've been liking it. So let's give this a try. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not what I was expecting. They're good, but they're, I was expecting them since they're so light to be hollow on the inside, but there's layers in there. Think like a croissant. Now I want to try one of these crackers. My cats are fighting, if you hear that in the background, with a pepperoni. And then this cheese right here is the rosemary one, was it? Or was it, it was like Asiago olive oil something. So we're going to try all of these together. That cheese is good. I don't know if you guys can see like all the detail on the top of it. I need a mini pickle to cleanse my palate. These are so good. This juice though, this might be in my top 10 Trader Joe's things of all time. Like we're having like a mukbang right now because you're so far away and you can like see the whole platter. I feel like Trisha Paytas or something. Okay, so the one that I'm most nervous to try is the goat cheese because the only goat cheeses that I have remembered to have had were like sweet ones like trader joe's had one that was like a cranberry whatever but i wanted to switch it up and try something different for myself so that's why i did the herb one and i just remembered when i was setting up the board that i own these like cheese knives I'm so happy that i found them right away because they're so cute i wish i had like something sweet on my cheese board like i should have gotten some type of dried fruit or a jam or something like that, but it's okay. Savory night, I guess. I just put the goat cheese, I like spread it on this cracker and we're gonna try it and see what I think. I ran out of storage, of course, right? I was gonna say what I think, but I like the goat cheese. It just kind of gives me vibes similar to brie where it tastes like earthy for some reason. I don't know if that's the right way I'm describing it, but it's just like a different type of taste, which is why I typically stick to like the basic cheeses like Gouda, Asiago, like those taste like cheese. This tastes a little bit different to me, but overall so far we have nothing but straight hitters. I'm gonna try this wine cheese, which I'm really excited for. I'm gonna have to text Lexi after this and tell her if it's good or not, because the one that was made with Cabernet was really good and I saw that one today, but I wanted to try the Chardonnay one. So let's give this a taste It's actually wild. You can really taste the cheese in it. The cheese. What am I saying? You can really taste the wine in the cheese. I wish I got wine too At Trader Joe's. I drove there without my wallet I thought I had my wallet and then I didn't and then I thought I had it again and I didn't so I left it here Which is not good to drive without your wallet in general, but obviously I couldn't purchase liquor without my wallet and I was really upset about that. I wanted to get a bottle of wine, but I got my honey crisp apple juice and I'm good. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna end off today's vlog here. We didn't organize the bathroom, but we did make a cheese board. So I think today was a win. I think my favorite cheese is that rosemary olive oil Asiago cheese. That one is really good. And the crackers are good. They all kind of taste very similarly to me though. They're supposed to be like garlic, this one is the rosemary, and then this one is the chili, red chili one. 
they all kind of taste very similar to me. Maybe I have to try them plain. They're just kind of basic crackers, but I like the box because they all came packaged separately inside and there's a ton of them in there. So I think it's good for the price for what you're getting and stuff. Oh my God. I literally have like pieces of cracker stuck to my shirt. Why didn't you guys tell me? Okay, I'm gonna end off this vlog here because I need to edit it. I'm gonna take my cheese board to the couch, watch some botched is what I've been watching currently and edit this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I don't know. I'm trying to keep this as entertaining as possible, but it's hard when you have busier days. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And the last, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe here if you're new because videos all month long. So if you liked this one, you can get 24 more of them plus extras. So definitely subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok and all that good stuff. And I love you guys. And I'll talk to you in my next vlog tomorrow. Bye.